Hmm. Interesting. What's going on over there? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of repulsive. <laughs> I need to see this. <laughs> What's so funny? Check it out! She's all like, I'm a dumb principal. <laughs> yeah, I look silly. Oh, really? You know I can hear you, right? Uh-oh, it's haunted! You're in so much trouble. Get back here! <laughs> Whoa, where are we? Aw, oh, that outfit's adorbs! Ahem, so you think you're art critics, huh? It's time for a drawing challenge. Awesome! Wow! Did you see Kevin earlier? <laughs> hey, stop it! Hmm. It's time for the first challenge. We're going for an aquatic theme. I want you to draw a fish. Oh, okay. No problem. I can totally do that. What happened to the lights? <laughs> I don't like the dark. Oh wait, it was you. What? What? How is she doing that? Your turn, Annie. Watch this. It's a hand. Hmm, that gives me an idea. Got a little inspiration, huh? I'll start by drawing around my hand, but I want to leave some gaps. Now I can fill it in. This will be the tail of the fish. Then it's time for the head. I can't forget about the mouth. That's definitely a fish. Next, I'll draw the eye. And the scales. This is going well. Sometimes I amaze myself. I'll add the small details. Now I can add some color. I want it to be nice and bright. I need to make sure I stay inside the lines. It would be a shame to ruin it now. This blue is perfect! It's so vibrant. I'm only coloring the stripes. I'll use a different color for the body. Okay, the stripes are done. Let's switch to a yellow pen. This'll make the blue stand out. Aw, it's perfect! It's a happy little fishy! My turn! I've cut small fish out of card. They can go into a bowl of water. Happy swimming! Hmm, they're not doing much. Oh no! My fish! They're… they're falling apart! This is why my mom never let me have a pet. Aw, don't cry. This is a disaster! I know what'll cheer you up. I'll take that. I'll turn that brown upside down. I'll put the bowl right here. I need a metal spoon. I'll draw on the back of it. It's a teeny tiny fish. Next, I'll place the spoon into the water. Don't be shy. Go on, go for a swim. That's it! Good fish! You'll need some bubbles. I don't want you to be lonely. It's like an aquarium! Whoa! That's amazing! Pretty neat, huh? Here you go! Wow! Thanks, Annie! We're finished! No way! The fish are swimming! I've never seen anything like that! Let's see your drawing, Annie. Very good. Hmm, who's the winner? I know. It's Chloe! Congratulations! What? But… I should've won! Hey, I don't make up the rules. This is so unfair. Whatever. Wait, that's supposed to be fashion? Yikes, it's like something my granny would wear. Decisions, decisions. There's no accounting for taste. Look at her! Oh, sorry. I'm something of a fashionista. What? Oh my god! I want you to design a dress. Who knows, I could wow. be wearing it on the catwalks of Paris. Ooh, I like this challenge! I've got some big plans! Hmm, I don't know what to do. Well, I can't waste time. Oh yeah, this is looking good! I'm about to change the fashion world! It's… it's terrible! I don't even know how that happened! This is all wrong! Ooh, fancy. I need to get into the right frame of mind. Hey, careful! I need to think like the dress. Oh no. Be the dress. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. I think I have an idea. It's worth a shot. Hmm. I need one more thing. But what? I know. I'll be right back. Mmm, a big chunk of apple juice! This is just what I need. I'll need to open the napkin up. Then I can start to make folds along the top. I want to create pleats. I'll just pinch and fold. It should look like a fan shape. Now I can stick it to my drawing. I'll need some glue. That should be enough. Then I'll press it into position. It's that easy! So elegant. So chic. 
But it is a little plain. I want it to be a showstopper. I better grab my paintbrush. I'll add some polka dots to it. Those always look good. I'll use different colors of paint. This dress will be a real head turner. I'll paint the polka dots halfway down. It'll be so unique. Wow! I love it! It's beautiful! I can't wait to show the principal. All this thinking is making me hungry. Wow! Look at Annie's drawing! It's so pretty! What am I gonna do? Wait a moment. A bowl of juicy fruit! I want it! I'll take that. The perfect crime. Mmm, those look good. I'm gonna enjoy this. Uh, can I have one? Nah, nah, they're all mine. That's just mean. Like I care. Oops, I missed my mouth. I need to clean it up. Ha! Karma! Hang on. Maybe I can use this. I know what to do. This dress will be good enough to eat. I'll arrange the raspberries like this. Then I can add the blueberries. What a great idea! Mother Nature would be so proud. I'm glad I didn't eat them all. I don't want to run out of fruit. I want to create a long, flowing dress. I just need to add a few more blueberries. Wow! It's stunning! It's ready for the catwalk. Hey, principal! Oh, you've finished already. I hope you like it. What a yummy dress! I agree. I can see you wearing this. Try to flatter me, huh? Both dresses are excellent, so you both win! Congratulations! Yes! Put her there! Annie? Where is she? Oh, I should've known. I can explain! <sighs> Help yourself. Just don't tell the principal. <laughs> hmm, what's next? What's she looking for? Oh, I've got it. Ready for something magical? Oh, yeah! Here it comes! I want you to make a rainbow! Yes! They make me so happy! What'll we use? I'll check my bag. Oh, good idea! Come on… Toilet paper? Okay, that's weird. There must be a pen or something in here. How much stuff have you got in there? Ew, free candy. That's the best kind. Wait! Chalk! I can work with that. This is gonna be great. I'm about to draw the best rainbow ever. It'll be a masterpiece. Or maybe not. Mmm, tasty! Let's try this again. I'll use a different color. Ugh, why is this so hard? No! My chalk! I can see it's going well. Uh, I meant that. Hold on. Maybe I can use the chalk dust. Yeah! That'll definitely work! I'll press the chalk into the paper. I want it to crumble. Like this. Then I'll do the same with different colors. I'll keep the piles of chalk dust close together. It's like a mini rainbow. Now I'll place my finger onto it and drag it across the paper. I'll do it in an arc. Now I'll add a cloud at either end. I'll need some blue chalk. I'll use it to color the edge of the clouds. I don't need a lot. I'll smudge it with my finger. It just gives a nice effect. That's it. A beautiful rainbow. It should be hanging in a gallery. What? <laughs> Are you okay? I am now. Wow. Phew, I was worried. I'm gonna use the candy for my drawing. I should've thought of this earlier. First up, green. I'll put it onto a plate. I'll arrange the candy around the outside. I'll alternate the colors. Mmm, it looks so yummy. But I can't eat it. I'm suffering for my art. Just one more piece. Hmm, it's not what I was hoping for. I was expecting something with a wow factor. Huh. It's so obvious! Every rainbow needs rain. I'll pour a splash of water onto the plate. I don't need a lot. That's enough. What are you doing? I'm making a rainbow. Whoa! It's wonderful! I'm speechless. I know. It's amazing. It's judging time. Wow, you're blowing my mind. Look at all the colors. So creative. And Annie, what have you got for me? Wow, I'm impressed. And the winner is… Annie. But wait. Chloe is a winner too. You both deserve it. Yippee! Great job! 
Ah, here's my delivery. I've been waiting for this. What is it? Get this junk out of here. Oh, I'll take this. I love popping the bubbles. This is your next project. Sounds good to me. I want you to make a tree. You can count on me. I'll be on it once I finish with this. That feels so good. It's just so addictive. I can't stop. Pop, pop, pop. Ooh, yeah. You've got a problem. You know that, right? You need to try it. I could do this all day. Hold on. The tree! I have a plan! Let's go! I'll need to make some adjustments to it. I'll start by cutting it into circles. Now for the next step. I'll need to paint them. I'll paint the top part of this circle with pink paint. Then I'll switch to orange. I want to divide it into sections. The bottom section will be blue. That's just what I want. Next, I'll carefully flip it over. Then I'll press it onto the paper. Now for the other circles. Each section will be different colors. Then it can go onto the paper. This is the last one. I'm gonna use different shades of green for this one. They'll blend into each other. This circle will go to the top of the page. Now I'll slowly peel the bubble wrap off. The bubbles leave behind a pattern. It looks great! Just how I planned it. Now I need to add the finishing touches. I'll use brown paint to make tree trunks. Then I'll add branches. It's like modern art. Hmm, how about some grass? I'll do the same for the other circles. I'll use white paint to give the trunks texture. There, I'm done. It's different, but I like it. Woohoo! Uh-oh. That might have been a mistake. Oops. My bad. What have you done? My painting's ruined! I'll try and scrape it off. Ugh, it's making it worse. It's pointless. Hey. Maybe I can still fix this. Yeah. I know what to do. Time to get to work. I'll wrap a rubber band around cotton swabs. I'll make sure it's nice and tight. I'll use it to dab green paint onto the paper. I'll move it around in a random pattern. It's looking good so far. Now I'll switch to a brighter green. I'll use this to fill in any gaps. It's starting to build up the layers of paint. And it's creating contrast and texture. Then I'll paint the trunk. This brown is ideal. I'll build up the layers to make it more realistic. Next, I'll add branches. Not too many. I just want them poking through the leaves. I'll use long brush strokes to make grass. Wow! It looks so good! It's better than I could have imagined! This is my best work yet! Check it out! Is… is it safe? I'm still mad at you. You know you can be scary. You better hope I win. That's very unique, Chloe. Annie, I feel like I'm amongst nature. Excellent work. So who wins this round? It can only be Annie. Woo! Go me! Go me! Well done. I need to apologize to Annie. This is for you. Hmm. You know I like lollipops. Phew. What a relief. I guess we better get started. First up we have… Drum roll, please. A rainbow! Wow! I love rainbows! Let's just get on with this. I need something for my bag. Ooh, I'll check my bag. What have I got? That's your bag? Aha! I can use it for my drawing! Hey, I forgot I had this! Mmm, it still smells good! Are you kidding me? I'm gonna throw up! Eh, I'm just messing. I just need a pen. A diamond encrusted pen, of course. Ugh, where did this come from? Mmm, that gives me an idea! Hey, Kendall! Get it away from me! Ugh, so gross. Okay, I'll start by folding the paper. I'll place the pencil tin on it. And use it to draw a circle. Then I'll draw a face on it. I'll start with the eyes. I'll split the smile over the fold. What a lovely smile. Now I'll open the paper up. I'll use my money as a ruler. I'll join up the face. Then it's time to add some color. I want it to be as bright as possible. And I'll draw a rainbow inside the mouth. Now I can fold the paper back over. It looks great! Check it out! It's pretty good, huh? Wow! My jot is dropping! Brittany hasn't even started yet. There must be something I can use. Oh hey, I found my old chalk. I can definitely use this. I just need my trusty hammer. I'll quickly make a butterfly stencil. I'll place it on a sheet of black card. Next, I'll put the chalk on it. And then, it's bashing time! 
Oh yeah, that feels good! This really works out my tension. Now I can remove the stencil. I'm left with a beautiful butterfly. Excellent work, girls! I know! It's such a tough decision, but Brittany wins! Really? Wow, thanks! Ugh, that's so unfair! Hey, I like your drawing. Hey, romance is in the air! Here's your next challenge. It's a love heart. And to inspire you, I have a special guest. Take a look over there! Hello, ladies. I call this my smoldering look. Gee, I'm so glad I brought that wind machine. Ah, he's cute. Hey, I saw him first! Nuh-uh! I need to win this round. I'll have to create something special. Give me the love hearts. I want more. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not good under pressure. Here you go. This is just what I need. Brian is so dreamy. We'd be so happy together. Okay, let's do this. I'll start with a romantic message. I think that says exactly how I feel. Now I'll go around it with a gold pen. I'll add some stars. I wrote messages on the other hearts. Hmm. I think I'll choose this one. I'll fold the sides. And press them down to create a crease. Now I'll fold the top over. It makes a small envelope. I'll use a sticker to seal it. I'll put it with the rest. It's a little collection of love letters. It makes the cutest key ring. Whoa, that's pretty good. Hmm, this might be tougher than I thought. I'm struggling to think of something. Okay, here goes. I'll draw a love heart. But it's not a conventional love heart. It's different, but it looks good. Hello there. I'm loving the hobo look. And this drawing? C'est magnifique. A rose for a rose. Wow, such a gentleman! And what's this? Is that for me? Beautiful and talented. What a combo. I have something for you. Ah, they steal my heart! Yeah, I get that reaction a lot. Ahem. Anything for me? Be quiet, this is my time! This is handy. Just a little joke. The next challenge is… A brush. Uh, where's Brittany? Don't look at me. Whatever. Let's start without her. Go ahead. This should be easy. Hello. I want an order. What great service. I love shopping. It's my favorite hobby. Okay. Let's get this out of the box. How did it even fit in here? Ugh. It's heavy. But it's perfect. I don't need this box anymore. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Oh my gosh, is that toilet paper? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, right. Oops. Well, that was embarrassing. So what did I miss? Wait. I just need to do something. Please stop. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, I can use this. I don't need a paintbrush. I'll snap it in half. Then I'll roll it in toilet paper. I want to keep it nice and tight. Next, I'll wrap it in green plastic. Just like this. Once that's done, I need a sticker. This will hold it in place. It looks good. I'll place it into this clear tube. I think it's ready. I'll dip the first swab into pink paint. It matches the color of the plastic. And then I'll brush it onto the paper. When I'm done with that color, I just swap the swabs around. It's time for some blue. I'll let the paint absorb into the swab. And I can get back to creating my art. What the? So it's like that, is it? You ain't seen anything yet. I have big plans. I'm about to create a masterpiece. I'm finished! Uh, what? Why would you do that? You lose! Come on, the brush slipped! Sorry, gotta keep my potassium levels up. This is the next challenge. All this work is making me hungry. Get me something to eat! Ooh, this is more like it. It all looks so delicious. What should I try first? Whoa, that does look good. I want it! Get your grubby hands off it! I don't want you touching my food! Come on, you won't eat all of it! Fine, I'll give you an egg. Catch! Whoa, easy! Don't drop it! Phew, that was close. Thanks for this. I'll crack the egg into a bowl. I want to keep the yolk separate. 
I'll put that in another bowl. I'll use my fingers to break it. Hmm. It feels all slimy. Next, I'll add a small amount of oil. Just a little more. Now I can stir it. Next, I'll fill a syringe with the mixture. It makes it easier to work with. And it's not as messy. I'll add the egg mixture to powdered paint. I don't need a lot. Just a few drops. I'll use a brush to mix the egg and paint together. That looks about right. Now I'll take the eggshell and crush it slightly. I want to break it into small pieces. I'll take this piece of the shell and I'll paint it blue. I love this color. I've drawn a vase and I'll stick the shell onto it. Then I'll add flowers. Mmm, I couldn't eat another bite. Wait. Maybe I eat too much. Whoa! Oops. My bad. Better out than in. I don't want to waste any food. Hmm. Maybe I can create something with it. I've painted a sheet of card blue. And I'll use the broccoli as a brush. I'll dab paint over the paper. I'll use different colors. It gives an amazing leaf effect. Check it out! Ooh, that's pretty. I love it. Very creative. How do I decide? It's tough, but Kendall wins! Yes! I'm the greatest! Okay, take it easy, Picasso. Whee! Look at it go! Take a look at your next challenge. How exciting! Are you kidding? I've no idea what we're supposed to do with that. Aw, there's a loose thread on my shirt. There's another one. That's all I need. Hmm, maybe these might come in useful. Ooh, makeup! Maybe Kendall won't notice. This is my chance. Just act natural. Nothing to see here. The perfect crime. I'll cover the thread in string. Then I'll put it on my notebook. I'll arrange it in a wave pattern. Then I'll close the notebook over. I'll pull the thread. It leaves behind an abstract painting. It looks great! Wow, that's actually quite impressive. Wait. Brittany! Yes? Oh, uh, how did that get there? Keep it. I'll use this brush. I'll paint my canvas black. But I'll stop halfway. Then I'll apply a line of glue. I'll brush the glue over the black paint and the blank canvas. Just like this. Before it sets, I'll sprinkle glitter over it. I need to be quick. Phew. This is hard work. Huh? Is that gold? That'll look great on my painting. Even my dandruff is rich. I should buy better shampoo, though. I'll place a heart stencil onto the canvas. And grab a can of spray paint. I'll go over the stencil with it. It's so vibrant! I'll carefully remove the stencil. Wow! I'd hang that on my wall. It's good, isn't it? Oh yeah. Wait until you see this. Whoa! My eyes! I can't see! Put it down! That's better. Wow! It's wonderful! It is pretty special. Give me a warning next time. Whoa! Look at all this stuff! That's the end of the challenge! It's time to announce the winner! Me! Me! Pick me! I'm so nervous! Who will it be? It's… Kendall! I don't believe it! I tried my best. Well done. Hmm. Wait. We should share the prizes. Really? You mean it? Woohoo! Uh, I'm not really a hugging person. It's so beautiful. Art is the real winner. Have a cool idea for an art piece, but not sure how to tackle it? Don't worry. We've got some handy little tricks to turn regular ideas into true masterpieces. Now let's get those creative juices flowing. My crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing. Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. 
Wait, just one last look. Yep, this guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember. Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower?! All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals. Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. And you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist. 
Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of paint left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life, along with the outline of the wings. Other side! There! Just admire this pure beauty! 
And that's just the beginning, son! Let's spin the wheel. I want to spin it. I'm the guest. It's my idea. Let go or else. Stop it! You'll break it! Oh, look at that! I guess we're drawing a rose. What's that? Ladies, I have a beautiful rose for two beautiful flowers. Awkward! I want to marvel at your beauty. Grrr, I like you. Let the challenge begin. At last! Oh my gosh, get a grip! I'm gonna find it hard to concentrate. I feel like I'm looking at a work of art. I get that all the time. What a glorious mustache! Seriously? Hey! Yoo-hoo! Remember, this is a contest! Oh yeah, you're right. This doesn't look much like a rose. Unless… I know what to do. I'll add some triangles inside the heart. They look like petals. Now I'll draw the rest of the rose. This is looking good. Time to draw the leaves. I can't forget the stem. I finished. That turned out well. Nice. Here's mine. It's minimalist. What do you think? Like what you see? Beautiful. You win. Yes, I knew it! What's the prize? You? <laughs> I'll cherish this. Mmm, it smells amazing. It was obvious he was gonna pick you. You're just jealous. I wonder what's next. Not so fast. I'll spin the wheel. Where will it stop? Oh, a little bird! How adorable! Come on, let's go! Yeah, yeah… I'm not great with paints, but I'll give it a try. You have to imagine you're among nature. That's the secret. This red will be ideal. Oh no! This is a disaster! That's just making it worse! Ugh! Look at my hand! There's only one thing for it! Sabotage! Nope! Look what you did! Well, if you hadn't moved the paper, look at this! And that's my fault? Uh, no. Hang on. That needless act of vandalism has given me an idea. This might work. I'll put some black paint here. And draw a beak. And then some legs. It's starting to look like a bird. There. It's a cute little bird. With a little help from you. That's cheating! But I love it! Mine isn't that good. Let me see it. Uh, if you insist. I think there's a clear winner! Yes! Oh, hello, little guy. I feel like a cartoon princess. Wow! Ooh, can I touch them? Shoo! Go away. Get your own birds. You think you're so special. It's the next round. I'm going to crush you. Whoa. Chill out. Okay. But I take art pretty seriously. Let's spin the wheel. Feeling lucky? Oh, interesting. Please. <laughs> I thought this was a challenge. I've no idea what I'm doing. Not so confident now. Time to get started. Maybe I can see what Luna is doing. No cheating! Again! I spotted some dust. See? Uh, carry on, dust. Sure. I'll start by drawing a Y. Now I'll draw the fingers. Then the other finger, and the rest of the hand. Finally, the love heart. I'm done! That's pretty accurate. What do you think? It's okay, I suppose. This is my attempt. I think I have this round. Yes! Well deserved. Whoa, there was a prize! Luna, may I? How romantic! But, but! I'm so lonely. It's my turn to spin the wheel. Wait, what? Okay, fine. Make sure you do it right. 
This shouldn't be too hard. Am I supposed to be intimidated? I've got this. Okay, a dog. Where do I start? It helps I'm an animal lover. I'll start by drawing a circle. What now? Hmm. What next? What's she doing? How's that a dog? I know! I'll draw some small circles. That should be enough. Now I'll draw some semicircles. I'll add a nose and some eyes. I'll draw some of the details. And it needs a tail! There! A cute little doggy! It's possum! <laughs> Get it? How did you do that? That's pretty smart. How's your drawing? Well, uh, art is subjective, remember? If you squint, it sort of looks like a dog. Ooh, that's rough. Let's see who won! Wow! Would you look at that! I'm so happy! Do I win a dog? I'd love a fluffy dog! Ahem. What is it? That's it? It's cute, but I'd prefer a real one. I'll take it. You can have it. Let's see who gets to spin the wheel. Well, okay. Woohoo! I win! I'm spinning the wheel. Wait, do scissors not cut paper? Ooh, a bunny! I'm gonna enjoy this one. I'm sure scissors beats paper. Hang on. These look like rabbit ears. I have an idea. I better get drawing. This makes it so much easier. That's the body. Now for the paws. Every rabbit needs a carrot. I'll do the eyes and mouth. This pink is perfect for the ears. And the mouth. I better color the carrot. And a little green. And we have a rabbit! It's pretty good. Wow! I'm impressed! I need to be quick! Oh, I'm not good under pressure! At least there's a carrot. Woohoo! I win again! Go me, go me! Stop it. What's that? A bunch of carrots? <laughs> I'm happy to lose that round. They'll help you see in the dark. Sweet, huh? Want to give it a try? How hard can a heart be? Just a couple of curved lines. Haven't drawn one of these in a while. Let's try this again. One curve here. Ugh, I'm terrible at this. Arr, I can't make the sides even. This is gonna take me forever. But maybe this grid could help. I can use each square, going down a peg again and again. That covers the bottom half. <sighs> now on to the top. It's prettier with the different colors. Just a few more. It's awesome! Check it out! What a unique approach! And this one… a tad literal for my taste. <laughs> I think Matt really nailed this round. Oh yeah! Ugh. What's taking her so long? Almost done! Your patience has paid off! Ta-da! That looks kind of fun! Drawing a boy is super easy! I look at one in the mirror every day! So good! Where'd Ellie learn to do all that? Oh, I can't turn this in! Matt, you don't have time! Let's see those pictures! I gotta think really fast here. There! A boy! Huh? I guess that is a boy. 
Uh, wait, let me make one little adjustment. Fine, but just one minute. Thank you. These letters are a great starting point. First, just link them all together. See, it's coming together. And a little color makes it alive. Aw, he's kinda cute. Ha! Take that, art challenge. It's a masterpiece. What do you think? Two Picassos in training. I knew we could do it. Meow. Mesmerized, huh? Well, snap out of it! We have to draw a cat? Okay, I guess. This is tricky. Any day now. Whiskers? I could use a little inspiration. Hmm, is she really asleep? Now I can really get to work. Say goodbye, little kitty. You're coming with me. Hey, Ellie. How'd you get that? So unfair! I want one too! But I can be clever too! Ah, good boy! I prefer the real deal! Aww! Mwah. I've done it again! You're my very best friend! And now I'm gonna draw you too! You're bigger than I anticipated. Uh, I can't trace you at all. Maybe if you turn just a bit. This isn't working. What a happy accident! You know how to spell cat! Matt! Hold him for a sec. Where'd you come from? Anyway... Let's do this. better. Time to turn the word cat into... something a little more cat-like. I'll make this little guy brown. Don't forget the ears. And perhaps a few fun stripes. Almost as cute as the real thing. <laughs> what do you think? Anybody home over there? What I miss? Right, kitties. Cute job, Ellie. That looks awfully familiar, Matt. And now I know why. Sorry. <laughs> Guess I'm taking this round then. <laughs> Being creative is more than drawing on a page. Um, are we done dancing yet? Because there are doggies to be drawn. This is gonna be interesting. Do I start with the ears? Matt, you need a little help? Ah, check out this doggy over here. What? A dog? Ah, forget it. Oh, hey, Ellie. See the doggy? Hey, I kind of see it now. It's like a Rottweiler. I can just trace it on here. And I can add my own detail. Like its little doggy collar. And what's a dog without sweet eyes? Time for the wet nose. And a long tongue. And the right pops of color. <sighs> Turn this thing into a real piece of art. Man, I'm good! I just need a little extra help. I don't think this will work either. How does this stuff even get in here? Seriously? This is what I was hoping for! Oh, such a good boy! And so handsome! Oh, he really is adorable! Oh, wait, no! Where's your art? Mine's ready, miss. I see I really inspired you. Yay! But now I just want to pet him. He really is soft. And last but not the least, purple. <laughs> uh -huh. Attention, please. We're not done here. We're drawing rainbows, huh? Let the games begin. 
Hmm, can't forget this one. They always begin with red. See? Looking like a rainbow already. I'm not really into markers. Mind your own business! She's not even doing anything! Hey, is that a poppet? I love those things! And it's exactly what I need! Ha! Isn't it great? But I'm using it for something a little different. Each line gets its own color. Just a couple more here. There! Can't forget about the holes. Now for the quick flip! <sighs> Isn't this just so satisfying? Almost as satisfying as this! Teacher! Heads up! Hey! We're ready now! Wow! So many beautiful colors! Execution's a bit off! Okay... Now that's thinking outside the box! We hope that inspired you to pick up a paintbrush and create your own masterpiece. Who do you think made the best art? Annie or Chloe? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more works of art, just like this video!